Hello everybody. Let's have a little chat about mug printing. Just finish me coffee first. Right, get a lot of questions asked about starting up in the mug printing business. Obviously I've got my training DVD, which you can see a link to the description just below this video. Uh, if you want to have a look at it, just uh, click on the link in the, in the description, you'll find the, uh, the actual training DVD. Let's talk a little bit about starting off in the mug printing business and possible problems you will have. Now I recommend a certain type of uh, sublimation, it's not a sublimation printer, it's a normal printer. And I used to use Epson printers, as you probably know, over the years. We've been doing the mug printing business since 2005. And at the time of this video going out, we are in 2014. So we've been doing it a long time. And we've gone through lots of different types of manufacturers with, and making a lot of mistakes until we've got now to a steady stream of constantly producing goods to a certain quality. And we, we've done that for many years. But at the beginning, you can get teething problems teething problems like using the wrong printer, using the wrong inks, or using what you're told is the right inks, but then encountering, encountering problems further down the line, and we've been through all that ourselves, so we know all about that. One thing that appears to have hit the market now is, I mean, we always get our blank mugs, and we've never had a problem with our blank mugs, uh, because we were sourcing them from eBay. Because mug printing is becoming more and more popular now and it's more accessible to people now, there's been a lot of inferior sublimation mugs hit the market and are being sold on eBay. Now, typical example, here's a mug which has been printed by us, which we've had for uh, many years, and its colours are still vivid and there's not a problem with it. Here's a mug which was printed probably last year sometime. And as you can see, everything has actually faded on it. Here's another mug, which is about four to five years old. And here's another mug, which is probably about one to two years old. So, as you can see, we're using the same procedures, doing exactly the same things, but for some reason, there's been different results over longevity tests. And the difference is, is that we do tend to change suppliers and chop and change suppliers on eBay. And as a result of that, what we have now found using our own research, as you can see here, historically, we can prove that although we're doing the same things when printing our mugs, something is changing. And the things that are changing are that you're getting inferior grade mugs, sublimation mugs, on eBay. More and more people are diving into selling the, the, like the white blank mugs, for example. And as a result of that, they're probably importing them uh, from the Far East, as no doubt what the original ones was. But there's more and more people realizing there's money to be made in selling the blanks now. So the companies out in the Far East, for example, may be a bit more dubious or not as professional as the ones which have been uh, constantly supplying our uh, countries with blank sublimation mugs and as a result of that they might be using a different th uh, quality covering for the mugs. Just to give you a bit of background, when you buy a blank mug or a blank sublimation white mug for example to be printed on, what you're actually buying is a white ceramic mug which has been coated with a polyester type clear material all the way over. Now this coating is what you need to accept your sublimated image on. In other words, you can't actually print on a, just a ceramic mug. You have to have this coating of a polyester or a plastic type finish uh, to actually sublimate your image on. The film quality, which that is made out of, is obviously the variable which we have got no control over. Because when you just buy a set of blank mugs, sublimation mugs, you're just buying from a company of someone who just basically has either imported these mugs with the coating on and they, they're selling them. There's no brand names on them, you, know, you don't know where they've come from. So that is a big, big problem because as I said to you, there I've seen definitely over the last year and a half, two years, 
we've seen a lot more people selling sublimation mugs on eBay and we've tried a few different companies as I said to you and we have found that a lot of these companies who have just jumped in on the market of selling sublimation mugs are selling inferior quality mugs. So just something to be aware of, if you're getting mugs sent back to you by customers saying that they've washed them a few times or they've had it about three months or one month or two months and it started to fade or it started to run, then you're probably getting the mugs from an inferior supplier. So what I would say to you there is, is don't risk go out and buy the cheapest mugs, what you see on eBay for example, you're looking for someone who has been selling them for a long, long time and who has got a good reputation and also a good feedback. And not only that, you may want to try the reputable companies who are known for selling this stuff online apart from eBay as well. First, possibly visit a website of someone who deals with sublimation and stuff like that. They will obviously have a quality control system in place, whereas if their suppliers are supplying them with an inferior product, they will obviously do something about it as a big company because they will not want the reputation of selling uh, inferior quality gear. So be careful who you're buying your mugs off. Don't go for the cheapest one you find on eBay of someone who may have just started up. That's just something to be aware of. So I hope that was some use to you. If you do like this video, please do rate, comment and subscribe below. I always like to see your comments. I've been doing this since 2005, so, and we've got, uh, as, as I've just shown you there, mugs of a long time ago, and we, we, we iron out problems, and we see problems arising in the industry. And as a result, of that, I try to pass them tips and little tricks on to you. So there you go. That's just a little quick video here on the mug printing. If you are interested, do have a look at the uh, link below in the description, just below this video and take a look at my mug printing tutorial training DVD, you might be interested. Thanks very much and bye for now.